happens when a child uses a portable device to change the images at will? Let's find out in Quantum Conundrum. But what is Quantum Conundrum? Well, let's make it simple. Imagine having a brick. Now imagine that brick fluffy. Then a dense piece of iron. Then imagine that you can turn gravity upside down and slow time. That's what the game is all about. Being made from a developer of the Portal series makes it quite familiar yet unique at the same time. It's like having your mom and your grandma make you the same food. You can see it's the same thing, but the taste is very different. You're a little kid that has some behavior problems. That's why your mother conveniently forces you to visit your uncle, who is not a really big fan of kids. But that doesn't stop him from showing off his inventions, oh no. Even if they all fail miserably. Anyways, he makes a mistake, gets trapped in a dimension, now you gotta find him. Wow, monkey business done right if you ask me. You find the problematic glove that trapped him in the dimension, and you try to power up the mansion, which apparently has the size of a small moon. In order to fully charge the glove to save your ankle. Now, how's a kid supposed to fix a dimensional rift making glove that's problematic enough to actually trap you too in a different dimension? Or oh, what you expect in the nursery or something? Well, I don't have it. And the game does not explain it. Well, it does, but at the same time, it does not work, so yeah. It's like trying to fix a useless machine. Anyways, moving on. The gameplay is really, really solid because not only traverses smoothly between the environment, but also allows multiple solutions for the same goal. That is a good and a bad idea at the same time, because yeah, you can make your own solution. But at the same time, I found myself cheating through the areas I was pissed off, because I could not get over them. What I also found very interesting are the loading times, that were actually pretty okay, especially the respawning ones. That's great, because you're gonna get a lot of dead tips, yeah, that's a thing. The game's graphics really suit the game's attitude and theme, and actually kind of remind good old Portal. Though it could have been better, they are not bad since it's an actual indie company. Well, I think that does it. Colorful, full of puzzles and science juice. Quantum Conundrum gets a very good place in the puzzle platformer category. And since the price is right, I suggest you give it a shot. <laughs>